Nothing quite like being out on the water enjoying a nice day with the family, only to realize that for some reason you just weren't paying attention and you forgot you were boating on a runway. It's very easy to become distracted when out on the waters. There are lots of distractions and things that catch your attention, and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today is what happens when you don't pay attention in boating. A lot of incidents that occur in boating actually can be avoided just by taking a little extra care and spending a little more time paying attention to what's going on around you. But just like many things in life, there are lots of things going on. We've got other people on our vessel distracting us. Maybe you're not paying attention to where you're going. You could be looking down at the phone. Millions of things going on on the water that really just make it difficult sometimes for you to keep your attention focused on what's going on around you and that causes a lot of incidents and things to go wrong in the water. And the kind of incidents these distractions can cause go anywhere from just running into another boat to maybe you even forgot to do some steps when you were starting your boating day like attaching the safety kill lanyard before you went out. All right, we're gonna send this to uh, Broncos Guru. All over inlet. <laughs> Watch out for your sandbar. <laughs> And of course, sandbars are another common problem out there if you're not paying attention. If you're not looking where you're going or paying attention to the tides, you can find yourself in some rough situations where you find your boat either stuck on the sandbar or possibly fully beached because you weren't watching the tides. Hey, Broncos guru, I'm sending this one to you. Boneheaded boaters of the week. Stone Harbor, New Jersey, low tide. And while low tides can be a hazard, there are obviously other low obstacles out on the water you gotta watch out for as well. And of course, low tides will bring those hazards that you just can't see, but there are always other things in the water that you've gotta pay attention to at all times to make sure you don't run into any other issues, because sometimes as you get distracted trying to release a fish, you might forget that there are other things in the water as well. This incident happened so fast that even slow-mo instant replay doesn't actually capture how close this was. We've got to go to the still image. And of course, sometimes it can be the fact that you're not paying attention out there, but it's not even you. Maybe somebody else wasn't paying attention, but you were following that person who wasn't paying attention, and that can lead to some wild incidents out on the water as well. Not paying attention really is one of the worst causes of accidents, I believe, out on the water. People just get distracted too easily and not paying attention to where they're going. Kind of like this situation right here. This crew looks like they're out there having a good time, but they're actually out there assisting a row vessel while this vessel that's approaching the row vessel for some reason just isn't paying attention at all. Incredibly, everybody actually is okay in this incident, but that incident easily could have been avoided by that captain just looking up and paying attention. A little extra care can go a long way. Even in this situation right here, this crew just wasn't quite paying attention, wound up running their boat up onto some rocks, they wound up breaching the lower part of the hole in the vessel, and now basically due to the water intrusion, their vessel's completely totaled and had to be salvaged. And then of course there are those times we're not paying attention due to self-inflicted reasons. Maybe we've just had a little bit too much fun out there on the water today, and of course that can always lead to us not having the best idea of what's going on around us. And us as boaters not paying full attention to what's going on around us doesn't even just affect everybody on the water. Sometimes it can have effects on land after the fact as well. It can become very easy to not pay attention once you get off the water, especially if you've already had a long day out there. But no matter what's going on in your boating lifestyle, you always have to pay attention because you just never know what to expect and when it's going to happen. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening in your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Adam Coolidge, Tommy Kelleher, Derek Wolthoff, Donald Baldy, Gavin Earl, Genghis Fishcamp, J.R. Martin 3Z, Tom Elger, Claver 4, Luis Velezquez, Predator God NL, Rolf Marius Falid, and Tim Chambers did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.